Hello everybody, welcome to another NASCAR Heat 5 career mode video. Today we're going to be going to Charlotte and the Freightliner 100. This will be 25 laps around. Let's get into it. So as you can see, this is one of the smaller tracks on the schedule. Kind of one of the cookie cutter ones like Vegas and Texas. But I, this track is actually one of the real ones of those. I'm not sure about the other ones, if they're real or not. But I know for a fact that this one is real. I've seen it in real life. So we'll see if that transfers over to our speed at all. So I'm gonna do the practice and see how it goes. So as you can see, I only did four laps and I ruined my final lap that I was doing because I ran into the wall uh, coming off of turn two. So we only get four laps in, not really anywhere close to the goal. Hopefully the goal is uh, a little bit faster uh, than the pull. It's kind of hard to mix, to keep going back and forth between those. As we're gonna see what the pole is, we are not gonna qualify good here at all. The pole position is a 14-8, and we are nowhere close to that in any of our practice laps. So we're just gonna have to hope that we get somewhere maybe at least in the top 20. I would say our goal is now because this is just survival at this point because of uh, that, pole, that pole time. As we don't get a great run off the corner, it will kinda mess up our lap a bit. We're gonna go through turn two, see what kind of run we can get off the corner now and see what kind of uh, lap we can get in general. We're going to hit that late apex here through turns one and two, a uh, three and four, I mean. It's right. going to qualify with a 15-8-5-5 in 18th. That was, I mean, better than expected, but not a great qualifying lap at all with Anthony Norton there with an exactly 16. That is... A strange time as nothing's changed. Let's see if anybody behind us has any issues. Uh, but Ryan Foster didn't have a good practice session. Terrence Russell is well prepared. And Cody Brock is having a stellar weekend. As we're going to be starting on the Come outside the of the 04 car of Everett, Ready. one of our rivals, Ready. as you're green here in Charlotte. Starting the we're going to really try to almost wall ride like Ross Chastain out here. He's going to dive down the inside. It's Everett Scott, my bad. I thought his last name was Everett, but then his first name is Everett. As we get past him, coming out of turn two, up into 16th now, past Cobb also. Almost catching up to Carter in 15th already in that 37 car. As we're really going to send it in, trying to get next to him, but not make any contact. He's going to come around the outside and get by us as we're going to really send it in now seeing where we can get as there's our teammate and friend a few Ackerman with the same sponsor I guess this team really likes uh, motorsport.com as we get all the way up to 13th after passing the 17 car as now we're really just gonna have to track down this huge pack in front of us and if they keep battling like this we will be able to catch up Bobby Carter's almost gonna look down the inside of us now as he's catching back up to us as we are now starting to lose some of our restart pace, as they are almost like four or five wide up ahead of us. But I think we're hopefully gonna be able to hold on to this 13th position at least. Now finally, a starting to catch up to these uh, two stragglers at the back here, Willis and the 98 car, but I saw that Leslie Gomez got sent up into the wall there and losing plenty more time. Willis, Willis into the wall. That's gonna be side by side with him on this last lap. He makes contact with us. And we're gonna have to commit to the Rossa Trastain wall riding as we're gonna have to try to get past on the last lap side by side. 13th here in stage one. We wall rode for the first part of that um, turns three and four as it did work to our advantage. And we did get past um, uh, Greg Willis, actually no, he's ahead of us somehow, but we're starting ahead of Danny Hoffman as we're green for stage two. I'm pretty sure that we were ahead of Willis, but it is what it is as we're going to be starting on the inside so we can go dive it on the inside of Gomez for 11 side by side making contact Willis to our bumper as we're going to just edge out of turns one and two as we're going to be three wide, almost four wide. Going through turns three and four now as Willis gets by into 10th. We're going to dive down the inside, trying to get to him, making contact with him. I don't care. It was him that roughed us up. He gets roughed up because of it. So we're going to dive down the inside, trying to get past Davis now as we're going to try to cut him off. 
coming out of turn four. Up to ninth with side by side with Gomez for ninth, and she's gonna take the position. She's gonna slide up the track in front of us as it's gonna be a big battle coming through the middle, and we take ninth. Now we're gonna try to hold this um, bottom line. Seeing, but Danny Hoffman goes down the inside no matter what, as he's gonna take that um, ninth position as we're down to tenth. Hoping we can get a great run off the corner, but no, he gets a better run. Making contact with Willis and um, Carter now, as we're now. Through turn two, third turn one and two now, as we get loose, a bit too loose, as Bobby Carter's gonna get run away again with ninth, as we're gonna but really send it into turn uh, three and four, as we're gonna make more contact with Willis. He, can, he will not stay away from us this race, as we're going to really send it, trying to get to um, at least 11th to get that inside starting position, as we're going to really send it on Willis. He's getting on my nerves this race, as he's going to, Bobby Carter's going to do a switch back on us for 11th. Our goal now is just to get 11th. Our uh, uh, position in the playoffs will be plummeting, probably, after this race, as we're going to dive down the inside, trying to get back to Carter, side by side, off the corner, and we will finish in 11th. Just outside of the points. But if we can have a great last stage, we may be able to get at maybe up to 5th before the end of the race. As we're down, starting on the inside of Bobby Carter, just behind Leslie today. Gomez Stay and sharp. Danny Hoffman. Almost ready. Bobby Carter in that 37 car is your green right, for the final stage five. here in Charlotte. As we're really going to send it on Hoffman uh, into turn three and four, as he's gonna go up the track with Gomez, and we're up to ninth. We're gonna dive it down the inside, trying to get up to Russell, who's having a great day. Good for him, as we, he makes contact with us and sends us into the grass. He got a little bit too loose going out of turn four, as we're gonna try to get past him now with, any, with no contact. There's no three wide behind us, we're gonna try to stay to the top lane so we don't have to worry about it. As we make contact with Russell now, as he's gonna go by as we're down to 13th. Bobby Carter's also dropping a bit as he was in 12th at the start of the stage and he's still there, but usually with his car, he would be um, gaining as we're gonna almost use him to get through the corner as we're gonna be up to 11th, but uh, battling with Bobby Carter. As the 98 car goes really aggressively down the inside, forcing us up into Bobby Carter as we're really gonna send it now down on him. That he goes into the outside wall, trying to avoid us, and we're now three wide for uh, 11th. All of us up into the wall almost now, as we're gonna have to hold on to 12th maybe, with uh, Davis battling hard with us, as we're gonna try to catch back up, I hope, to at least Willis, so we can give him our thoughts. We're gonna really ride the wall here without actually touching it. We're getting as close as we can, and that was a terrible corner because we lose 13th and 12th to Davis and that the 27 car is gonna fall behind and lose more positions. Send it down the inside, trying to get back up um, to Anderson and Willis up here. Willis is in 10th. If we can catch up to him, we will be in the points as we're really gonna send it there. Willis gets in the outside wall, but the 98 of Davis goes down our inside. As we're gonna try to send it down his inside with a little bit of a switchback, three wide for 11th, but no, Anderson gets away with it. He's gonna dive down the inside, shoving Davis out of the way, but Anderson gets by us into 11th. And dive down the inside again, trying to get up to at least Willis, who's running that outside line, lane, which is hurting him, as I have no care for what happens to Willis now as we send him into the outside wall. But Davis goes down the inside and make contact with all our rivals. It's now last lap, down the inside, trying to get up to Anderson as we're three wide. We're almost all gonna spin, we're gonna be side by side. We're losing all of our speed. We make contact with Norton into the outside wall. We're kind of riding the wall coming into the last corner and we're gonna have to settle for a 14th place finish. A terrible race there. I guess we're not good on these short ovals as this will terribly affect our uh, playoff standings as I just hope that we're not too far down the order. Like I said, we, gained, we finished 14th and we gained 13 fans from that, bringing our total up to 282. Again, I'm going to say this every time. We're well above our subscriber count at the moment. 
subscribe now. As we're going to see, if we have any momentum, incentive contract already expired. We cannot get that top five. We are in a little bit of a slump um, at the start of the season here after getting that early win. But we'll have to shake that off and go to the next hot seat race, which will be at in the 97 car at Iowa. We're going to have to get a top 22 but that'll be for next video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.